rapids or maybe Alpena could get some really decent snow out of this one. You know, we're still recovering from the freeze uh, here in Michigan, you know, but I think for a lot of you, the White Christmas is something that you really are looking forward to. So if you have a video or a photo you want to upload it, weather.com slash photos, or you can share it with us on Facebook or on Twitter. We love to see those photos. Well, Minneapolis is one of the snow winners from yesterday. They picked up Three inches of snow and more is on the way. Our winter weather expert, Tom Nizzle, he's here to show you how much snow to expect on this Christmas morning. Good morning to you, Tom, and Merry Christmas. Good morning and Merry Christmas to the both of you. Yeah, we're looking at snow, and typically on a Christmas day in Michigan, a little bit of snowfall is not going to be an issue. It just makes things look even prettier. But with 150,000 people without power right now, you are right. There are still going to be lots of issues there. Unfortunately, a lot of people even have to leave their homes with the temperatures that we've had. The only silver lining in that cloud, as Jennifer kind of alluded to, is I remember these from being up north. You don't have to worry about your freezer. Just take the food out and set it outside because it is cold enough to keep that uh, food cold. So we've got a clipper system here on our water vapor imagery. There it is looking at the currents in the atmosphere. That's moving through the Great Lakes right now, and there is the radar. Now, that snow is moving along pretty quickly here, guys, so it's going to be through the area probably by later this afternoon. But with temperatures as cold as they are, be careful because the salt doesn't do as good on your roadway, so you're going to have some slick spots there. Some lake effect kicks in behind this to put down a few more inches of snow. So, again, these are the snowfall totals that we'll see here, about three to five inches across the lower portion of Michigan here. All this is pretty much done back here through Wisconsin now, guys, so we're constantly concentrating right here on Michigan. We're going to continue to keep you updated here throughout the day. And we'll be coming back in a few minutes. I want to detail the potential for snowfall in the Sierra in California where they're under extreme drought conditions. So stay tuned and I'll give you an update on that. We'll send right, it to you. Tom. All right, Tom, we'll be waiting for that. Well, the winter storm Gemini freeze has left over 150,000 customers in Michigan without power this Christmas morning. And as MSNBC's John Yang discovered, people are finding a way to embrace the Christmas spirit even without electricity. Here in Michigan, more than 200,000 homes and businesses have been without power for three straight days. Despite crews coming from 11 states in the District of Columbia to help, there are still neighborhoods like this one that have yet to be touched. Many families are waiting it out in packed hotels, if they can find rooms. A Hampton Inn has become a gathering spot for displaced families, like George and Marion Contempasses and their dog Shep. So, this is where you're going to spend Christmas? Yeah, we yeah. spent Christmas. We spent our anniversary here yesterday. 23 years, we uh, got to spend it in a motel. Karen Charlie's family is making the best of it. Everybody's having a really tough time, so and we still don't have any power. But we don't care. We're together. <laughs> Grateful to have someplace warm to stay, even if it's not home. John Yang, NBC News, East Lansing, Michigan. All right, John, thank you very much. Right now, we take you to Boston, where it is a cool 16 degrees right now. It's a beautiful blue sky overhead. I know this is kind of one of those days where you wouldn't mind having some snow. You had plenty of it recently, then it all melted for you. Now you're just stuck in the cold. It actually stays cold for us Christmas Day. And the next couple of days, we're going to see a warm-up. Until then, next week, a uh, big cool-down comes in. So cold for you in Boston, in New York, in Hartford, and toward Providence. Temperature in New York right now is 19. It is zero in Burlington, three currently in Caribou, and a 22 for you in Philadelphia with single digits in Buffalo. Now you factor in the wind, the wind chill. It's significant out there. It feels like seven below in Buffalo. And it's dangerous 10 below for you right now in Burlington. So you got to cover up all the exposed skin if you're going to end up being outside today, maybe trying out that new sled that you got for Christmas or those cross-country skis. All right, today's forecast. Uh, temperatures are closer to average, about 40 tomorrow in New York, 46 in D.C. As you head out to the malls, excuse me, here, try to get those deals. Today, 23 in Boston, 40 tomorrow. Temperatures go above average for us on Saturday and Sunday where temperatures uh, check in at 43 degrees. Okay, New York City, similar boat here as Boston. Temperatures a little bit on the coolish side today, then close to average, then above average for Saturday and Sunday. And I think a, a good deal of dry days are coming your way as well, so looking forward to that. And if you're headed out for those holiday deals tomorrow, maybe a few sprinkles in around New York City, but I think for the most part, you'll be in pretty good shape. Jen. All right, Mike, New York certainly does look nice, but what is happening elsewhere around parts of the U.S. on this Christmas?